In ancient times, Nazareth was a small, insignificant Jewish village in the region of Galilee. It sits just above the Jezreel Valley, which is sandwiched in between the major trade routes that pass through the valley and intersect near Herod Antipas' capital, Separus, three miles north of the village. Separus means bird's nest, and it's situated on a large hill. The Romans destroyed it in 3 BC. Herod Antipas, the teenage ruler of the region, realised that the city remained an important economic location, so he rebuilt the city, making it the ornament of Galilee. The site was modelled on a Greco-Roman city with a theatre, marketplace and public buildings featuring beautiful mosaic floors depicting their gods. Herod Antipas used raw materials from the surrounding area, stones from a local quarry, trees and clay, as well as local labourers including builders, craftsmen and carpenters. Since Separus is so close to Nazareth, some historians have suggested that Joseph and Jesus, who were carpenters, may have worked in the city. However, no one will ever know for certain. In contrast to the Greek and Roman influences in the city of Separus, Nazareth, which means lily, was a conservative Jewish community. Its economy was based on agriculture rather than trade. Today, not much remains of the ancient village and a church now stands over some of the ruins. Today, the modern city is mostly populated by Christians and Muslims. And since there's not much to see here of historical significance, a Christian group has recreated the ancient village in the middle of the sprawling city. In biblical times, Nazareth was an insignificant town. Nothing is written in the Old Testament about it, and nothing is mentioned in the historical writings of Josephus in the first century. In the Gospel of John, when Philip mentions the town's name in relation to the Messiah, Nathaniel exclaims, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Even though there's little account of the town, this is where the story of Jesus began. It was here that the angel declared to the Virgin Mary that she was pregnant and where Joseph decided to separate from her. It was also here that Joseph was told by the angel not to leave her, for she was conceived by the Holy Spirit and would give birth to a son who will save God's people from their sin. The village is modelled on a typical 2,000-year-old Jewish village. There are olive trees, an olive press, a synagogue and homes. Every detail has been meticulously researched, from building methods to the clothing worn by the actors. It's all exactly as it would have been 2,000 years ago. Actors play out villager roles teaching local Muslims and pilgrims alike what life was like in Jesus' time on earth. Biblical scholars believe Jesus left the village around the age of 30. He travelled to Capernaum and began to minister among the people there. He would later return to Nazareth, but the local people could not accept that a carpenter's son could be the Messiah. They were so outraged, they tried to throw Jesus off a cliff. Despite the fact that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and despite the fact that he was rejected by locals in Nazareth, his detractors always presumed that he was from Nazareth. 
When Governor Pilate crucified Jesus, he nailed the charge to the top of the cross, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Nazareth, a very humble beginning for the childhood and early manhood of the King of Kings.